Okay, hello year two. We're gonna do a little video tutorial for the next step of our artwork. So I'm just gonna flick my camera up and show you. Ooh, this is the image that we're creating. Um, it's by Ellis Lowry and he famously painted industrial cities. And I thought this linked quite well with your jobs that people do. So a day in the life IPC unit, because this is very historical. This is what towns were like in, mainly in the UK, but in other you know cities in Europe, where people lived very close by each other in terraced houses near their factories. So we're going to be having a go at using our perspective techniques to create this L.S. Lowry picture. So I'm gonna reposition my camera and I'm just gonna take you through step by step. So you're gonna have your piece of paper ready, you're gonna have your pencil, and you're just going to follow along as best you can. Remember, you can pause this video to help you as best you can to recreate the lines that I'm going to do on my paper, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to draw a line across the bottom. It's gonna start there, so a little bit up from the bottom, maybe just less than quarter of the way from the bottom of your page. So we're gonna put that line in there. So this is just sketching at the moment. We'll hopefully eventually be painting this, but we're going to collage the figures. So the people you saw in that picture, we're going to make those separately. So we're just doing the buildings using our perspective techniques. So I've done a line across the bottom here. I'm gonna go up a little bit from this line and I'm going to do a little indent there and I'm gonna match it over here, almost like a kind of a mirror image. So that line goes in there, okay? Then I'm gonna go up to the top, just about here, yeah, here, and I'm going to match that line again. So I've got a line there and a line there that are roughly uh, the same length. And I'm gonna do something similar over here, but this one's going to be a teeny bit lower and it's going to go there like that, okay? So, so far we've got a line there, we've got a line there, a line there, a line there, and a line there. Now we're gonna do a straight line down to join these two. Okay, so you've kind of made a rectangle over here, and we're gonna do the same. We've got a rectangle over here. Now we're gonna do something a bit fancy on the top of this rectangle. You're going to do a line that sticks out a little bit like that, okay? And then you're going to do a straight line back from there, okay? And then we're going to put a line that goes almost to the top of your paper, but not quite. And then we're gonna turn that into a rectangle there, okay? Then we're going to think about the idea of perspective line. So we're going to kind of imagine a line that's going down in this direction. So I'm going to put in another line here And that is representing the top of a house, okay? It's like the chimney on top of a house. I'm then going to imagine my perspective line going in this direction. So I'm going to have my perspective line go to about here, okay? And I'm going to match it on this side of the street. So almost like a mirror image. Okay, so unlike the other work we did, we're not going towards a vanishing point. We're kind of stopping before we hit the vanishing point. And we're gonna do the same here. So imagine a vanishing point, but instead of stopping at a point, I'm going to make a little wall here, about that big. And I'm gonna make another little wall over here, 
about the same height and I'm going to do my perspective line. It's gonna come all the way back here and it's gonna to touch the corner of my rectangle here. I'm gonna start from the edge of this roof here and I'm gonna do my perspective line on this side, okay? So we've got the beginnings of our street, okay? Our L.S. Lowry uh, piece of artwork, our street. Now over here, I'm going to put a little bit of a roof on top of this, and this roof's gonna go all the way, almost to the top, and off the page like that, okay? Now, I'm gonna put in a couple more perspective lines. So I'm going to start there, and I'm going to put a line in. In fact, I'm going to put a wall here, just to show, because this is the corner shop. This is the shop on the corner of the road. So I'm just going to differentiate that from the houses. So this is the shop. And then this perspective line is showing where the windows and the doors are on this side of the road with these houses. This house here, I'm gonna put a dot right in the middle. See, between there and there. And I'm gonna put a dot in the middle between there and there. And I'm gonna join these lines. Okay, those lines are just to help me kind of put the windows up here and the doors down here and a few other windows here and there. On this part of um, this building, there's a window that we just can see. In fact, let's put that line there because that will show where my window needs to finish. So I'm putting a window. It kind of goes off the edge of the page. Okay, there's my window. And then here's a doorway, but we can't see all the doorway. We can just see a bit of the archway. So I'm gonna put the arch in there like this. And I'm gonna represent the bricks on the archway. Then I'm going to fill in the rest of the door. So I'm just adding a few details for my door. Okay, over here where my shop is, I'm going to carry on that perspective line there because this is actually going to be a big window of the shop and the doorway of the shop is here. So just try and move my hand so you can see what I'm doing. So here's the shop doorway and it's got some more rectangles inside the doorway. Okay, and then here's my shop window. And this shop window's got a lot of crisscrosses on it, so I'm gonna do two lines going down, and let's do some lines going across. So there's my shop window. And this one, I'm gonna follow the perspective lines. So I'm going to do My line's going that way, and then straight down. Okay, so there's the side of my shop. It's also got two windows up here, so I'm gonna just follow my perspective lines, and I'm gonna fill in my windows. Okay, there's my two windows. and I'm gonna put some crisscrosses on the windows. And then there's one window here. And a bit like the window on this side of the road, this window kind of comes off the page a bit. So I'm gonna have it coming off the page. Okay. And I'll put some curtains in that window. Okay, so I've done my shop at the front here. I've done my house at the front here. Now I want to fill in my windows and my doors going along the street. So the windows that are far away are going to be small. The windows that are closer to the viewpoint are gonna be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do really little windows first up here. 
So can you see how skinny that window is? And I'm gonna mirror that on this side of the road. So a really teeny little window on either side. And I'm going to do another one. But this one's going to be a weensy bit bigger. And the same, I'm mirroring it on this side of the road. It's going to be a teensy bit bigger. And I'm going to keep going. And they're gradually getting bigger. big one here because this side of the road there's more houses because the shop takes up the corner of this road so this house has got the biggest window okay I'm gonna put in some crisscrossy lines and then next door remember you've got to follow these perspective lines so Try and have your windows get gradually smaller. Hmm, let's see if we can fit in two more windows here. Okay. There we go. So there's all my windows going from small to big. And I can fill in some crisscrosses on these. Okay, and then I'm going to finish off on this side of the road. So this one, this window here is going to be the biggest one. And then let's see if we can fit one more here. Okay, so same again. I'm going to put in some crisscrossy window glass. Okay. Now... Down below, there's a lot of doorways, and the doorways all have these kind of arches on the top. So I'm going to put in a door here with an arch at the top. And then the next one is gonna be a little bit smaller. And you can see by the doorways how close these houses were to each other. They're called terraced houses and they were made for the factory workers so that they could live near their factory when they were going to work. So lots of people lived very close to each other. Okay, let's put one more door down here. Okay, so those, there's my doorways going up the road and I'm going to repeat this on this side of the road. So I'm gonna put my first one here so I'm kind of just making a rectangle with a curvy top, almost a bit like a finger standing up. So here's my next one. Let's put another one there. Let's put a little one there. Okay. Right then. Now, in the very background, there's actually a church. So I'm going to have a go at putting the church in. Now, the church, because it's at the very end of the street, we're looking at it face on. So the bottom part of the church actually juts out to about here. So you're gonna draw a line at the end of your street, coming out to about here, not all the way across, to about here. And then we're gonna put, there's a little wall in front of the church. So there's a little wall, goes up like that. And it's got a bit of a curve to it. So I'm going to have my line kind of curve up a little bit. And then it's got a big fancy window goes up to here and then it goes up into a point okay and then it's got kind of a big tower behind it so you kind of make some spiky points there and then the tower kind of goes off the top of the page and I'm gonna put a little circle there that's the clock that's in the tower so We've done that. And there's another part of the roof that comes out to here. And then that goes down and touches the wall. And then the other part comes over in this direction here. 
okay and then part of the roof comes this way and there's another tower here now all this is happening in the background because in these towns the communities lived very close together so they had their shop near them they had their place where they went to church near them and they also had their factory near them and i'm putting the factory in now the factory goes just behind the church so it's going to stick out there it's going to go across okay and then it's going to have a chimney the chimney goes off the page the chimney was called the smokestack and that's where whenever they were doing any kind of like processing that involved um, burning or creating steam those chimneys would feed out all the fumes of the smoke i'm going to put in some windows in my factory so there's a window there's a window there's a window there's a window okay over this side of the road, I'm just gonna, now you can't really see the tops of the roofs here because they're kind of a bit flat, but just behind the roofs, there's a chimney stack, another chimney stack, because there's another factory just over here. Okay, so this in this town, there are several factories. Okay, so there's another chimney stack there. At the front, where you did this line to start with, this is kind of the pavement. So I'm going to just give it another line. So this is the pavement here. And the pavement kind of follows the line, the perspective lines of this road. And let's put another one here. Okay. And it's got some, um, I guess what we'd call bollards or metal poles to stop cars driving down this road because obviously there's a lot of families living on this road. So they've put these bollards up so that cars don't drive down. Let's make that a bit bigger. So cars can't drive down. So this is called pedestrianisation. So they had to start doing this in towns to keep families safe so that cars didn't drive down busy streets where children were outside playing. So these are the bollards that go along the street. Okay. And I think we're gonna leave it at that for now. Let me just put in, I think one more line here to represent the pavement. And I'm just going to put in a couple of perspective lines. Okay, so let's just have a look at what we've done today. So, so there's the picture. There's the Lowry that we made. So we can see we've started to put in the outlines of the buildings and the pavement. What you need to do is try your best to recreate this. Pause the video as you go along. Try and think about the vanishing point, these perspective lines as you're drawing. Okay, bye-bye.